Roxy and in this video I want to share with you some travel tips and tricks. I started traveling when I was really 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 young because I'm half Spanish and half Italian so my mom when I was a kid brought me around Europe to visit family and I also traveled to several European countries when I grew up but when I traveled for the first time to the States I realized that for long flights you need to be extra careful and extra smart so in this video I want to share with you some tricks that I learned from my experience and I hope these tips will help people who are traveling for the first time for so many hours and let's start so first of all some bag essentials bring this pillow the first time I went to America I didn't have one and I didn't buy one and trying to sleep on a 10 12 13 hour flight without this is nearly impossible I remember that my body my neck my shoulders were so sore when I arrived to the States and it was really painful <laughs> so bring one of these and if you're traveling during daytime bring also those sleeping mask things or you can also use a scarf because your neighbor might want to look at the sky the whole time and the sun above the clouds is really really bright so it's gonna be super hard to sleep with a super bright light coming from the window so bring also the mask another thing that you should bring is food you never know what they're gonna serve and if they're gonna serve something on the plane and you might not like it so bring snacks and bring also some sandwiches or something like that so you're sure you're not gonna starve for 14 hours <laughs> and bring something to freshen up I like to bring makeup remover wipes and also wet wipes these are awesome and I love 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 these mini brushes because they have a little pearl in it so when you brush that one breaks and you have a little bit of toothpaste and the other side is pointy so you can use it as a toothpick so these are super convenient they're super small and you have everything you have the brush the toothpick and the toothpaste all in one and it fits in your makeup bag Boop. I also like to bring a lotion or a cream that I can use for my face and my body and my hands because on the plane your skin might get super super dry so this thing is gonna save your life I also bring some makeup and if you wear contact lenses bring some eye drops and of course everything you need for your contacts and your glasses <laughs> one time I forgot my glasses bring also deodorant an extra shirt and some tissue of course and lastly bring something to entertain yourself one of the main concerns of these really long flights is what am I gonna do for 14 hours here are some ideas number one you can bring some books or you can put a bunch of books in your phone in your laptop or in your tablet if you like to watch movies put also a movie or a TV series in your phone tablet or laptop because you never know what they're gonna have on the plane sometimes you don't even have your own TV thing so you're forced to watch whatever they choose and you might not like that movie if you like video games you can also put some games on your phone or on your tablet or if you have a small console like the Nintendo 3DS for example you can bring that so you can play if you bring these kind of things don't forget the charges for all of them and if you have it a battery bank for your phone where you can plug not only the phone but one of these that has all the plugs you will ever need there is the phone the usb the small usb samsung etc if you like photography you can also bring your camera so you can take pictures but if you don't like technological stuff you can simply bring a book magazines crosswords or something more creative to do for example you can decorate your planner or you can sketch one time i brought my sketch book and I spent an hour or a couple of hours just drawing the people around me and of course bring some music make a playlist on your phone on your tablet or whatever and I also like to make a playlist with really relaxing music that will help me sleep 
Because another thing that you should totally do is try to sleep as many hours as you can. So when you arrive in a new country, you're rested and it's gonna be easier to adjust from the first day to the new time zone. So if you arrive at 12 p.m., do whatever it takes to stay awake until 10 p.m. in that country and forget about what time it is in your own country just forget it trick your body trick your mind the time zone doesn't exist because <laughs> trust me if you arrive for example at 12 p.m. and you just go straight to sleep you're gonna wake up at 1 a.m. and it's gonna be super hard to adjust another thing that I like to do is to have makeup when I go to the airport and my hair done and then when I'm on the plane before I try to sleep I usually remove all the makeup and that one takes 15 minutes or something like that I remove my contact lenses I put on my glasses other five minutes I put my hair up three to four minutes <laughs> and then when I'm about to land, maybe when there are a couple of hours left, I freshen up, brush my teeth, I put my contacts again, I put my hair down, I fix my hair, and I put on makeup again. And it might sound silly, but if you do that, two hours are gone. Then maybe you sleep three hours. And then maybe you play for an hour, and then you watch a movie, two hours, you read something for a couple of hours, and then you have to eat. So maybe two hours and see 12 hours just went by like this other tips are to help you sleep avoid coffee coke tea even the day before I stopped drinking anything with caffeine <laughs> from the day before so I'm sure I'm gonna sleep on the plane also drink a lot of water because on these long flights it's really easy to get dehydrated so force yourself to drink even if you don't feel you're thirsty maybe put a timer on your phone so you drink a glass of water every hour or two hours and for the same reason try to avoid coffee tea and alcohol if you feel that your skin is becoming tight lotion another thing that will help your body and circulation is to walk stand up every hour two hours and stretch stretch your neck stretch your arms your back etc and when you're on the plane remove your shoes this is a tip that a flight attendant gave me and it helps a lot for long flights i try to avoid anything tight so no stockings leggings jeans and stuff like that to help your body and your circulation so i usually wear stuff that is more flowy and comfy in any case always bring an extra sweater or jacket and a scarf on the plane because on the plane is always always cold <laughs> to give you some ideas i also made a mini lookbook of three outfits that i would wear when i travel and you can watch it clicking actually here <laughs> and that's it i hope you guys like this video and found it helpful in the comments below let me know your travel tips and what was the most beautiful place you've ever visited because i'm curious i make a new video every monday and thursday and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below share it with all of your friends and see you guys next time bye hi again thank you for staying until the very end of this video here i'm gonna leave you two more videos your tweets are right here and as always i send many kisses and a virtual hug Whoop to all these people and if you want to appear right here just go on twitter and tweet me using at roxyrox and the o's are zeros and hashtag roxyroxdb also if you're not subscribed yet i'm gonna leave you the subscribe button right there you can click it and you're gonna be part of this channel roxyroxdb which is the happiest channel on earth and see you guys next time bye